let's ask a sim simple question let's say ceo of alphabet alphabet so here i just want to check who is the ceo of alphabet and let's see what is the answer that we're gonna get over here so what you see over here is it says sundar pichai right so this kind of q and a environment you can develop in five simple steps in python right and that's exactly what i'm going to show you over here let's just start with facilitating with the dependencies okay so for this what you require is two things you require first one is pytorch and then the second one is transformer hugging face transformer how do you get the py pytorch so for that what you need to do is go to the pytorch.org and over here you provide the specification as per your machine for example for me this is going to be default as it is and then operating system i have windows package which i have is pip i want to install it for python and compute platform i want to keep as cpu now this is the syntax which i need to take and just put it over here right and here it says pip3 but what i have is just pip because this is already installed in my machine i will not be installing this but for you i recommend you just hit enter and you'll have it now next thing comes how to install the transformers right so for that you need to say simple install transformers all right so this is this is how you can install both of these dependencies now after you are done with installing them what you need to do is you need to say from transformers import pipeline that is it now once you get the pipeline after that we will proceed with creating the pipeline environment over here let it complete first and then we will move the move to the next well we are done with creating the pipeline next thing which uh, i mean we are done with importing the installing and importing the dependencies all right so for now what i'll do is i'll just comment this out so that it doesn't create any kind of delay now over here what we need to do is we need to create the question answer pipeline question answer and over here you need to say pipeline pipeline and inside this if you see a syntax says simple it's very simple right here it simply says what is the work that you want to do the, what is the task that you want to do so what i want to do over here is i want to do question answer right so in this itself if you see there must be the list of tasks where it says question answer so you can copy it from there itself if you go down all right so we are almost there or maybe just let me write over here you can find that into there as well and here i would say question answer all right then the next thing comes is model what is the model that we want to use so for that i would like you to recommend you over here come to the hugging face right in the hugging face what you need to do is go on models once you are on models all the models you'll see over here right so into this you just need to find the question answering model here it is question answering model so there are plenty of question answering models what we are going to try today is the simplest one this model okay so let's just copy this model name and go back over here and into this we're gonna put this all right so it is creating the pipeline there seem to be some error okay so there, there must be a spelling error in question answer whatever i have written so let me finally just find the exact task which we require over here question answering is the one so what we are looking for is this 
question answering so what i wrote over here was just question answer instead it should be question answering now we are done with this let it complete and then we will set the context so what is setting the context for example if you want to ask any question first you have to give the context in what context you are going to discuss right and then from that context you can ask the questions let's set the context over here context and here what i would do is i'll put the raw and string and let's say learn area Learn area is a great platform to learn any skill. Data science data is the future. NLP is one of the most important important field in data science all right so we are done with setting the context now the next thing which comes is us asking the question and finding the answer how do we do that so for that you the model which we created over here or the object which we created over here is the same thing we need to use over here right and then you need to put your question uh, let's say what is learn area what is learn area all right and then the next thing few of the parameters that you will you would require to so what are those parameters how would you check that so for that what you do is just put this okay and inside this what you see is it says you can specify all the question answers right so here let me say question and over here i'll just put a question mark and then here i would say context equals to context let's just see what comes out of it now you see what it says what is learn area learn area is a great platform to learn any skill nlp what is nlp let's call it nlp what is nlp it's in data science what is nlp let's try this what is nlp one of the most important field in data science you see how simple it was now let's say if you want to if you want to use some big context like in the initial phase when i started the video video i gave you i showed you one example where we asked something about sundar pichai right so that's how, how would you do that so for that there there is one module for which i have created a separate video though that will be easy to understand over here as well but if you want i'll put the link into the description section check out that separate video so here you're going to say from goose <coughs> from goose 3 import goose and then you create my goose which is nothing but the object and let's just say this and once this is done then what you're gonna do is we gonna say we're gonna fetch the article okay and out of this article i'm going to say my goose dot extract and into this you need to put the art url for example from wikipedia you want to fetch that information so go to the wikipedia let's find on wikipedia i have already done this search right so let me open this let me just try to open this quickly i'm sure why this system is too slow today i'll take this go back to the jupiter and let's just put it over here this will set the context now once the context is set next thing which you need to do is you need to find from article dot you're gonna say clean text all right and let's just put this into the context all right it is done now after putting this into the context next thing which you need to do is let's just try to create a function def q and a and inside that we're gonna say your question question over here and the next thing which i'm going to put this over here is this i'm going to say return this and instead of this I'll just say your question this part we're just gonna put this over here 
now the next part comes is asking the question q and a and inside that i'm going to ask who is the ceo of alphabet alphabet and let's just see what is the answer that we're gonna get all right so what you see over here is pichai mr pichai is the ceo of alphabet and it says the accuracy percent is this in the same fashion what we can do is let's try to make it simple little bit so what we can do let's just try to put it into result result equals to this then we're gonna say result and result then we're gonna say zero and let's just see what is it that we're gonna get over here so i'm just simply trying to slice that particular list so that we could get the particular amount all right i just made one small mistake we don't need to think much what we need to do is just put here answer and let me call it return right now let's just see here we here we got who is this you of alphabet mr pichai right and let's say who is the spouse of mr pichai sorry i should have to say pichai uh, this is giving an incorrect answer here pichai so it's just we need to make little bit of modification into this thing so you see anjali pichai anjali pichai is the spouse of mr sundar pichai so what exactly is happening over here if you if you come back over here right and you know here you see if you print the context right over here so here is the entire text it has extracted from the wikipedia and that is stored into this particular variable and that variable we are using here as context so what you, what it is doing is whatever question you ask it is trying to find answer for that into this article so i just hope that it was simple for you see uh, it it only required these four steps primarily right here you needed to import all the dependencies then you set the pipeline and then over here you set the context and you find the re result right so it's that simple i just hope that it was simple for you to understand and clear uh, clear as well just in case if you get any doubt put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to help you out